Good evening and thank you for joining us. We begin in Nova Scotia where there's a snag in the federal government's attempt to broker peace in the lobster dispute. The man appointed as facilitator between commercial and indigenous harvesters says he's ready to open a dialogue between the two sides. But as Ross Lord reports, he's facing resistance from indigenous leaders. The past five weeks have been full of disturbing confrontations, including commercial fishers cutting indigenous trap lines and the suspected torching of a lobster pound that did business with First Nations fishers. To rebuild trust between commercial and indigenous harvesters, the federal government has appointed what it calls a neutral third party. We'll have to see if we can get people together. I mean, the ultimate goal would be to get as many people together and have a, a discussion that, uh, with, at a multilateral level uh, and to maybe hopefully come up with some resolve. When it comes to fisheries crises, calling someone in is politics 101. I'm trying to negotiate right now to get some understanding of what restraint means. But 20 years after a lobster dispute in Burnt Church, New Brunswick exposed opposing views over Indigenous treaty rights, negotiators are back at square one, and the new appointee is already facing resistance. He's from Pubnico. He's a president at the university down there. You know, he's getting pretty thick with the fishermen. So um, for us, there was no unbiased decision going to be, you know, made or, or talked about. Surrett admits his objectivity could become an issue. Perhaps, but um, I'm not going to dwell on that piece. Uh, I've done a number of, lots of work in the past um, independently. This for me is not going to be any different. I have no intentions of um, sitting down with myself. Uh, I'll talk with anyone with that, but uh, right now our, our management plan is our main priority. And like I said, I, I'll put them in touch with our lawyers that can fill him on to the information, our management plan, the treaties, whatever he's looking for. Chief Sachs says he's focused on separate discussions with Fisheries Minister Bernadette Jordan and with Carolyn Bennett, the Minister of Crown Indigenous Relations. Representatives of two commercial fishing groups did not immediately reply to our request for comment. It's unclear if adding an extra layer of discussions will help reach a common understanding or further complicate a convoluted dispute. Ross Lord, Global News.